and Nepal earthquake have unleashed a mental health disaster. Since the first earthquake on 25 April, there have been over 100 quakes registered and a magnitude of 4 or over. People in Nepal feel shock and panic at during an aftershock. People have to sleep in tents. People, in, people can't sleep because they're scared. They're worried not to sleep in buildings because they think it's going to collapse on them. Eight angels spend their money on fixing buildings, but they also need to spend their money on making less police people spend a have, feel happy and safe. Thank you for watching. How not to rebuild Nepal. Listen to local people. Don't build temporary shelters. Aid agencies need to take their time and build proper homes. In Haiti, they failed to drill in the local people. Aid groups spent more than $500 million on these transitional shelters in Haiti. It was the local groups that helped care for more than 600,000 refugees who fled Port-au-Prince to the countryside. Port-au-Prince didn't receive food or water or for weeks. Aid agencies need to focus on food and water and later they need to support to rebuild buildings and prepare for future natural disasters. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. How Nepal is going to build back differently and better. Nepal government asked for help from the global community. They need five billion to rebuild. They make 20 billion in a year. The government in Nepal has a responsibility to do the right thing for the people. The government, the, the rest of the world needs to trust the government of Nepal. How Nepal is going to build back differently and better. Earthquake-resistant homes. Um, Nepal needs to in investment in school. Build clinics. Build roads. Nepal needs to build telecommunications.